his sire has 19 traits in the top 20 percent of the angus breed dang good calf That's an old Charlie's legacy. Named after my grandfather, Charlie Needham. My mama cow came from Double Heart Farms in Elizabethton, Tennessee. She is Double Heart Queen G71. And his sire is Double Heart Theos. He was born on April 5th of this year. First time let out on grass today. That's our other register down there. PCA gene came from Pigeon Creek Angus Farm in Green County, Tennessee. Stan Ritter at Pigeon Creek Angus Farm. That's where she came from at the Green County Angus Sale last year. So this is my mom. She's the daughter of my grandparents, obviously, the original owners of this farm, SNO Farm. Um, so what do you think your parents would say about us getting back into the registered Angus and seeing this registered calf here on this property? Oh, I think maybe the daddy would be very pleased. Uh, 
very proud that we tried to carry on the tradition. Uh, I think, as my daddy used to say, this is the best looking calf on the farm. And it's good to let the calf out today, finally. Uh, I think he's looking good and very happy. Mama's happy too. Hey, you want to say anything else? So this is my uncle, the son, obviously, of my grandparents, um, is a brother to my mom you just saw. Is there anything you would like to say? Well, I've been over here with daddy through different times with his registered herd uh, from the start. Uh, as you all know, the history trend is giving you a pretty good history of that snow farm. Started out with it, had commercial cattle, and then he would start selling his commercial cattle and start his Angus herd. And um, as my sister would say it every year, he would say, that's the best calf on the property. And that was just kudos to his breeding program to show that he was doing the right, things the right way. And after dad passed in 2003, the field set idle for several years. We had uh, commercial cattle that, where we had leased out the farm to people to keep, keep it cut down. But after all these years, I'm glad to see Richard's cattle back on the, the farm. And I wish my sister, and brother-in-law and nephew success as they try to carry on this and open the farm. Uh, they got big shoes to fill to carry on daddy's legacy, but I wish them well. You wanna say anything else? If you haven't already, follow and like this page, Yes No Farm, subscribe and share. Thank you. There goes the other registered PCA gene from Pigeon Creek Angus Farm in Greenville, Tennessee. Again, that is a Double Heart Queen G71 from Double Heart Farms in Elizabethton, Tennessee. And the calf's name is SNO Shirley's Legacy, named after my grandfather. This calf was born on April 5th of this year, first time let out of the barn onto fresh grass. Just a peaceful day here at SNO Farm. Just over here enjoying the beautiful day that God made them for us and enjoying watching these beautiful cattle. There's nothing like a solid black black Angus cattle. My favorite breed. I mean, I'm kind of partial to it anyways because of my grandfather, but there's no other breed like a black Angus cow. That's a peaceful day today. do for this video hope y'all have enjoyed and don't forget to go up there hit the like share and subscribe this uh, to this channel and we'll catch you on the next one god bless y'all thanks for watching 
So this is the first time my mom is on camera talking. When that you can no. So this is my mom, first time on camera. She's gonna say a few words. Hey mom. What do you think your parents would say about us getting back in the register Angus and seeing this registered Angus calf on the property today? <laughs> 